Hi, it's Darnell with Wave Oven Recipes, and today I'm going to be air frying wings in the Ninja Foodie Flex Basket Air Fryer, and we'll see how it does. So let's get cooking right now. Okay, so the ingredients are simple. Got about two pounds of wings here, wing sections, and I'm going to be using some extra light olive oil to basically put some oil on them, and that'll help some of my seasoning stick. I'm going to be using two types of seasonings and basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to put wings with one seasoning in one basket and wings with another seasoning in the other basket. So over in basket one I'm planning to use my good old Old Bay seasoning, but over in basket two I'm going to be trying this Kirkland Organic No Salt Seasoning. I will say I have already tried it, but I haven't tried it against Old Bay on wings. I haven't tried it against Old against Old Bay on anything. But it has a little bit of a kick, not as much as Old Bay from what I could tell, but there's no salt in it, but it does have like a little bit of paprika and it's got like carrots and other types of dried up veggies in there, but it tastes good. This one tastes good and of course Old Bay has, you know, always been the staple. But just want to try them against each other on some wings here. And so just going to oil up these wings here, putting some more oil down like that. So just get things oiled up and get the basket open. Let's see. I'll put one, two, three, four over here. Trying to get a single layer on each side. Throw on that side. Throw on this side. Four more on this side, and four on the other side. So basically eight and eight on each side. Now I'm going to come that I've got them in the basket. Go ahead and season them up on this side here, and I'll just turn them over. Get them flipped and get them seasoned on the opposite side. You can of course use the seasonings of your choice, of your preference. Anyone who's a long time viewer here of this channel knows that I'm all about Obey. Nothing in this video is sponsored, nothing in this video is given to me. I just use what I prefer and what I like and I don't mind uh, sharing that with you. Although I know, you know, some people keep it private and feel like they're going to get a big brand deal or something. I'm not one who is seeking a big brand deal, so I'll just show you what I'm doing and go for it. So, get these flipped over. And as I always point out to folks, I'm not trying to, to have any of these cooker makers uh, sponsor me. I like to be able to do my own thing, say my own thing, not have any feelings I have any ties. And uh, some of you may understand that, some of you may not. But, alright. Got things all seasoned up there. I haven't been using this hand here to touch the chicken. So, going to go ahead and turn the cooker on. See if I can just let you see a little better. And I'm going to do air fry. I'm going to do match cook. I'm going to up it to 400 even though I know even in the guide it says 390. I'm going to do 400 and I'm going to check them probably after 20-25 minutes. But I'm going to let it run for 30 and we'll see how things go. But hit the start. I'll just bring you back in a while. Alright, things have been going for 20 minutes. I'm going to pause and just check just to see how things are looking. I haven't touched anything and I just want to see how things do without moving a thing. Yeah, we're already at, in the 190, so things are already hot. Let's check this other side. Yeah, things are already hot. I guess I'll stop there. I mean, I could go further to make them crunchier, but they've already got a little bit of crispness on the skin. But 20 minutes and they're good. So that's cool. And so I'm going to go ahead and start getting these out. 
I'll take the Old Bay ones, put them on the back here, the eight Old Bays. And with the last of the Old Bays out, I'll take the ones with the Costco No Salt Seasoning, put those up front here. Alright, so we got them all out. Got the Costco ones here, got the Old Bay ones here. And so let me kind of get them in a position where you can better see them both together. But you can tell me how you think those look. I'm going to go ahead and get a plate to plate some for taste testing. So let me move them back a little more. I'll grab one of these Old Bay wings here. I'll get a drum from each side. I've got the Costco wing here. So when I hold them up to you for a taste test, I'll just turn the plate around this way. So the Costco one's on this side. Old Bay one is over here on this side here. So there we go. We'll do a taste test. All right, so here are the finished wings. This is the Costco one here. Old Bay one here. So thank God for these wings. Let me show you the sides. Now on the side that was down, I mean the fluids did drip down on here. You know, I know I could have turned things over if I chose to, but I didn't want to, so. Still all the same. I think like this one here, I mean it got cooked, it got cooked pretty well on both sides regardless. So, Cooker did a pretty good job without turning things over at all. But let's go ahead and taste this Costco wing. Now on the Old Bay Wing. Okay, so Costco, you know, it's good that they made a no salt seasoning that uh, is very healthful and I believe it's even organic. I believe it said organic on the container there. So, you know, nice try by Costco, but uh, as far as taste, I mean, hey, Obey is still a champ. What can I say? Obey is just the champ like that. So, all the same, the cooker did well. Cooked them all up. Cooked them up in just 20 minutes or less. So, good job by the cooker using two baskets at once there and able to cook them up and Everything turned out nice and able to do different sides and do different seasonings on different sides. It's kind of neat. And so I hope that this did help you out so that when you want to make up some wings, you know what to do and how it will turn out for you. I hope it turns out well for you also. But in the video description, there are lots of ways to help this channel, such as my cookbook, merch, membership, donations, link to the Amazon shop where you pay the same price, help the channel. This um, flex basket that I have here, I do want to point out, is the 11 quart version which is available at Costco may or may not be available at other sellers so just want to point that out and you can also see the initial review where I give a full review of this cooker and there's hundreds of videos here and reviews of well over 70 different cookers so lots to check out if you aren't familiar with this channel already but with all of that said if you did like the video give it a thumbs up and I forgot also check out my blog superwaveovenrecipes.com that's superwaveovenrecipes.com also, share the video with a friend, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification icon, and good eating.